Hello everyone, my name is Michael and I'm going to be showing you how to make cinnamon rolls. Please leave a like on this video and subscribe to this channel for more recipes. You would need 250 grams of flour, half tablespoon of yeast, 50 grams of butter or margarine, 25 grams of sugar, one egg and half cup of water. So I'm going to mix in the yeast with the flour sugar and the water you're going to mix this for about a minute or two just until everything is fully combined you want the water to fully hydrate the flour you do not want huge pockets of flour in your mixture this is what you're going to be going for so this is how it should look like this is how the mixture should look like then you would add your butter and the egg you're going to mix that until you have a very soft dough like this. This is how your dough would look like when you're done mixing. Um, um, I added an extra 50 grams of flour because the dough was just too soft. So keep that in mind. Um, I am going to be using a hand mixer to mix my mixture, but you can use your hand if you do not have a stand mixer or, or if you do not have a hand mixer. But you have to mix for longer. I'm going to mix this, I mix this for 10 minutes with a hand mixer. So if you're using your hands, you would have to mix for about 20 or 30 minutes. You really want that gluten to be developed in the dough because a very stretchy, soft dough would give you very stretchy and soft cinnamon rolls. So let that rise for about 25 minutes. It should double in size and look like this. I'm going to punch this down and roll it out on my work surface so i am going out i'm going for a rectangular square shaped <laughs> um, um, rolled snowman dough this youtube thing is it's not easy <laughs> all right so i am going to roll this to be very thin very very thin um into rectangular shape so it would look somewhat like this Okay, and I'm going to be adding my cinnamon filling. Now, my cinnamon mix, I mixed one tablespoon of cinnamon, 60 grams of brown sugar, 50 grams of white sugar. For the butter, it's 70 grams of butter. I have softened this butter and I am going to be spreading it out on my work surface, on the dough, on the bread dough rather. And why I softened it was so that it could make it easy for me to roll, uh, for, easy for me to spread on the dough. I am adding the cinnamon mixture to the bread dough. Now why I do it like this is such so, so that I can have control over the amount of cinnamon, the amount of brown sugar and white sugar that I add to my filling. When you spread it evenly, Try not to spread it too much to the edges so that it doesn't spill out when you're rolling it. So you roll it and when you're rolling, don't roll too tight as well because if it's too tight, it might, um, when it's rising for the second time, it might rise too much and burst out and lose its shape. So roll it into a log and um, like so. And we're going to cut it into. I'm going to cut this into 12 pieces. So you can go for smaller cuts. You can go for bigger cuts, depending on how you want to bake this. I'm just using my eyes to just uh, you know cut this, but you can use a ruler as well to get even cuts. And I'm using a knife to cut this. So I cut this into 12 equal pieces, and I prepared an 8-inch square pan. I didn't grease the pan, I just lined it with baking paper on both sides and it would, it would work fine. You can grease yours, that's fine as well. I am going to be adding 9 cinnamon rolls to this pan because I do not want it too crowded because uh, it's a square pan and you want to have spaces in between the uh, cinnamon rolls so that when it rises a second time, it would have enough space to rise well the remaining three i would bake them in a different pan so you let that rise for about 25 minutes and you can see that the spaces that we are allowed have been occupied <laughs> so i'm going to be egg washing this the egg wash is just basically one egg mixed with 
um, one tablespoon of water you can use milk or you can use the egg just as as it is i'm adding the egg wash so that the brown the the cinnamon rolls can brown in the oven and i'll be baking this for about 35 minutes in a 200 degrees celsius oven ovens are different so i will suggest that you watch and check yours in about 25 or 30 minutes when it's baked it should be browned on the top and on the sides just the way it is like this and while it's still hot from the oven i'm going to be brushing on some um, butter on it you want it to um to be soft when you're eating it so the butter helps that and it adds a very nice buttery flavor as you can see my pan came out very clean so um, you don't need to really grease your pan if you're adding the baking paper but you can to be extra cautious and that's it guys our cinnamon rolls are ready and they're very soft and nice to eat let me know if you have any questions in the comment section i'll be happy to answer it and please try out this recipe and let me know how it goes share this video with someone they might need it <laughs> thank you for watching bye